about from the, the uh, social service agency side what the strength is of having churches involved in, in something like this, uh, both of you. We'll start with you, Nicole. Well, there's no question that the churches are an extremely strong and long-lasting institution, especially in the American African-American community. But at the same time, we have to harness, like Deacon Thomas has said, the people who can't come on Sunday, the people who don't find that they're able to attend a Sunday service and make it available to more people in the places that they live. And again, those needs are so great. From my perspective, I'm a community college teacher at mm -hmm. Oakland Community College, and there are so many people who want to strive and want to move forward and thrive uh -huh. in themselves and their families. And without those resources, we don't have the ability to improve our community and our city. The yeah. Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History is really honored to have the opportunity to honor the legacy by inviting the community to celebrate with a full day of activities. Yeah. The day starts bright and early with our 16th annual Martin Luther King Jr. commemorative breakfast. It starts at 8 a.m. Uh, the Reverend Dr. Nicholas Hood the III Hood, right? will be the keynote speaker. We have a wide variety of programs that will take place that morning, including performances by the Detroit Delta Preparatory Academy for Social Justice Dance Troupe. Uh -huh. We will have Mary Grove College Institute of Music and Dance performing. We will have uh, other performances taking place during the morning breakfast. And then after the breakfast will be a full day of activities.